Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Koji Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. This is Convo with the Head. Um, special episode because we really can't give out information. Now, make I give you people the basis for the conversation. Um, I, I we, we did an article about, you know, doctors saying, uh, you know, and, and I quote, don't sit on the toilet for more than 10 minutes. Mm. So we, we did that. We wrote that, an article on that. We posted it on our social platforms. And in the comment section, you know, bro, crazy. And a lot of things. The things, it, it, they look like people, they do a lot of things in that room. People, they do things. To the point that someone even said, oh, in Govi, they spend more than like one and a half hour. And I said, what? how, bro? So they say, what the doctors, they talk in the air, you know, they enter ears properly because, you know, if you tell us what to do and things. People are saying, say, that be the therapy section. Like, a lot of things, they happen. If you know be this article, I know, I don't know, say people, they do things for toilet room like that. <laughs> but then, the article, you know, it you not know, just be article. Things, the information, they behind that statement. It is not just about going to sit there. It is about what will happen to you when you do that. So today in the studio, I have Dr. Greg here with me. And, you know, um, he's been, you know, uh, part of our platform, dishing out information to people within the need them and turn. So we are going to have a conversation, a honest conversation about sitting on toilet for 10 minutes, more than 10 minutes, what the implications are, why this thing for not trigger people and why people for understand the health implication of something like that. So ladies and gentlemen, Help me welcome Dr. Greg. Everything cool. Everything cool. But I see say you come, I post the article where you come tweet tag. We say no, the, it'd be like people just they see the thing for surface level, but there's more to it. So I was like, okay, then make we sit there and give out the information to the people because that is that would be better than just putting this out there on the surface value. I mean, I'm not um an expert in that field, so this is where you shine. Yeah. Boss man, toilet 10 minutes they had it wasn't more problem on them. Oh. First of all. You do you do something before though. Oh, you did do one. No, no, no. Now maybe when I was like, how many minutes you feel they spend? Oh, me, I don't spend up to nine minutes or maybe eight minutes on there. So you know they take your phone and enter the place. Oh, they take. But since I know that doing this for a long time has this effect, Mm -hmm. I don't even take time there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some some people instead of taking their phones, some people even take graphics. Yeah. Some people even take their tablets to go and watch movies. That yes. some people actually watch their Netflix. Mm. Yeah. Netflix and shit. Yes. It's crazy. <laughs> 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 yeah, but so doc, what is the issue? Why 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 do you think people are outraged and what is the health implication of something like this? Because it looks like it's a popular thing amongst um it's not even the youth, a lot of people. Why? Why so, we for not do this? Uh, from the expert's point of view, mm-hmm. when you see a headline like this, we are heading towards a condition known as hemorrhoids. Okay. And most people are suffering from this, and some people, don't, they don't even know how they got it. Okay. So if you say hemorrhoids, locally, we, we know it as PALS. Koku. You will say Koku. Oh, okay. Yes. So when you engage in these practices, mm-hmm. right, everybody has hemorrhoids, especially if you're an adult. Everybody. Everybody has it. But if mm. it's symptomatic, that's when it becomes a problem. Mm. So the hemorrhoids, they are like uh, vascular cushions mm. in the inner regions. They have their functions to help with uh, control of uh, the free of bowels. It also does a lot of stuff for you. But when you begin to uh, exert pressure on those blood vessels, they become... Where, where is it? So it did the rectum inside for your your anus, your anus? Yeah, okay. yeah yeah okay. so your rectum then external so we have two types you have the internal and external mm. you get there so with the hemorrhoids anything that you do that puts pressure on your lower abdomen down there mm. it causes the veins to be engorged okay and when it becomes like that then it becomes symptomatic mm. so that's why we're advising that do not sit on the wc for more than 10 minutes because if you sit on the wc your inner regions is are opened so like your anus is opened Mm -hmm. you are sitting on a hollow object and with that it means all the pressure from your abdomen is just directly going down Mm -hmm. so when that happens it means blood flow goes directly into those blood vessels there Mm -hmm. they get engorged and with time you begin to develop symptomatic hemorrhage Mm. that's why the doctors so there's more okay so this is the reason it's not just but wait why is it time though why because I'm sure if you do it for five minutes, you can still exert the pressure. Okay. Why so, is it timed? Okay, so the more you stay, okay, or the longer you stay, the more persistent your blood vessels are exposed to the blood 
and the volumes keep increasing. Mm. So with time, the blood vessels begin to get engorged. It's like pouring water into a balloon mm-hmm. and continue to pour the water there. Mm. With time, the volume begins to expand. Okay. But if you do it for, let's say, some few minutes and you pour it back, it, the risk of the balloon breaking is even less. Mm. But if you do it for a long time, you are exposing the balloon or that object to the full effect mm-hmm. of whatever you are putting there. Okay. So the same thing with the veins. Okay. That's why we say do not spend much time mm. there. But doc, what if my run is too much? So when it comes to hemorrhage, uh-huh. we have a lot of things. The washroom is one part, that's the WC is one part. Mm-hmm. We have other things that causes or exposes people to hemorrhage. Okay. So one is obesity. Okay. So central obesity, especially people with Abdominal, uh, fat. Ab- abdominal fat okay. because that one it puts pressure on the pelvic veins and also increases the risk of hemorrhoids then also we have a uh, pregnancy so most pregnant women normally will have hemorrhoids during their third trimester that's their last three months before they give birth mm. because the pressure from the uh, pregnancy because the abdomen is uh, extending mm-hmm. the pressure begins to go down and they get hemorrhoids mm-hmm. then also we have uh, diarrhea Persistent diarrhea can also irritate your hemorrhoidal veins there. Mm-hmm. Then you can also get hemorrhoids from even diarrhea. Mm-hmm. Then one key thing that causes people to have hemorrhoids is constipation. Constipation? Yes. So you const- know they have to explain because yeah. the boys for the girls for women, they go burning gary, sunny bread. So if you don't have a very good bowel movement, okay. that means if you eat foods that constipate you a lot. Mm-hmm. When you go to the loo, okay, or, but what foods they constipate a lot? So foods that are low in fiber. Okay. So those foods will normally constipate you. Okay. So when you eat those foods, and some people are they they don't even hydrate. So there are some people who, who don't like drinking water. Okay. So but what, they like alcohol. <laughs> so when they do all these things. <laughs> The food gets stuck in the colon to the rectum. So when they get there, the fecal matter become, becomes compacted. Okay. So when they get to the washroom, instead of them to have free bowels, they will have to strain. So as you are straining, you are putting pressure on your abdominal walls. Oh. And as you are doing that, you are also putting pressure on your the, the veins that supplies the hemorrhoidal veins there. Is that why it's more times you say, if you do them like that, then you see blood on your... Exactly. Sweaters. Exactly. Because you have two types. You have the internal hemorrhoids and yes. you have the external hemorrhoids. So some people, they'll be having bloody stool, okay. but they won't have any physical bulginess. Mm. Most of them maybe is an internal. Some some of them too, is because of the friction mm. from the fecal matter that's coming out. Okay. So if you're always having constipation, it means you're going to put pressure on your abdominal walls. Okay. And with that, you are at risk of having hemorrhoids okay so people who have who are always constipated people who do not hydrate more mm. people who are obese mm-hmm. people who have persistent diarrhea is are also at risk of having hemorrhoids mm. yeah but dog i mean in the beginning you said oh this is something we do on our body inside if you don't go put pressure on them and normally it'd be normal for your system inside so is there a disease a sickness i don't know how would it yes yeah, so what point is the transition to this way what be the cure? How okay. you could feel, you know, mitigate the, okay. the thing? So before I even go to that, mm-hmm. also people who engage in strenuous exercises, like people who do hey. deadlifts, who do not do it well. I'm on the belt. Boom. That's why we encourage people to even use belt. Ah. Huh. So people who have been doing deadlift, so some people, they can just add up the weight beyond their capacity and try to lift. If mm. you are doing that, you have to put a lot of pressure on your stomach mm. and Doing that, you are also increasing your risk of having hemorrhoids. People who are cyclists, okay, who do not use uh, cushioned seats and all those stuff, sitting for too long. Oh, yes, okay. all these things increase the Seat risk. Yet, yeah. Yes, not all, show her anymore. All these things increase <laughs> okay. your your risk of having hemorrhoids. Okay. Yeah. So to the question that you asked, mm-hmm. yeah. So when it comes to the hemorrhoids. Mm-hmm. It's asymptomatic. Okay. So you you might be having hemorrhoids, but it's not symptomatic. It means you don't have any symptoms. Okay. So you have no problem. Normal. Yes. Mm-hmm. But when it gets to a point that it becomes engorged, mm-hmm. now let's take the internal one. Yeah. Now the internal hemorrhoids, we have about four categories. Mm. So we have the grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four. Mm. Grade one mostly is asymptomatic. Okay. So with that one, you might not even have any symptoms. Mm. The grade two, mostly when you visit the loo, you begin to see maybe 
drops of blood. blood. Then sometimes you see a bulge that will come out of your anus. A what? A bulge. So I say, the uh, fruit to abba. It is saying no one. Ah, I around. Ah, I want to say, come on, come on. Don't make us go go feel bit too. Ah, yeah, no, I can't say. Yeah, so, so, and I am a can't say. Yeah, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go see what you So that's the grade two mostly mm-hmm. after using the loo it normally goes back on its own mm. now when it gets to grade three with that one unless you yourself you do manual reduction so could check free or i see that's a be a while but that's the manual reduction but it's not saying also a pia uh-huh the grade two that one it goes on its own okay but grade three no mostly enko. Enko. okay this is where you are as a whole chain then it try to push back but when you get to grade four that one it pull up here and, and cobium mm. so that's with the internal hemorrhoids mm-hmm. now with the external one it's mostly around your inner uh the entrance to your inner okay into what one home mostly on the 50. if you feel so uh-huh. so it's so because the pressure comes so with time was an air can see so people will come and so when you're a cook with you too and do be complaining Okay. So that's the difference between the two. Do we have cure medicines for it? So when it comes to hemorrhoids, we have therapies that we use. Okay. But one of the most surest ways is a procedure. So all these things, your doctor will have to first assess you. Mm-hmm. Because if you are bleeding from your anus, it could be that maybe you have risk of maybe colon cancer. Mm-hmm. You can have inner fissures. So there are a lot of things. So we have to do what is called differential diagnosis. Okay. So we have uh, scans like con- colonoscopy. So we put some... No, ho- hold on. Colonoscopy. And when I was watching the Big Bang Theory, right, they mentioned it like a thousand times. I've tried to understand. I don't want to use Google. What is, what is colonoscopy? So colonoscopy is a procedure. So the large intestine is known as colon. Okay. That's the large intestine. So the scopy is using like a device to observe how the colon is. So they'll pass the, uh, the it's like a camera. So they'll pass it through your anus so that you can observe the content of your- Intestine. Of, of your large intestine. So that's your colon. So that's the colonoscopy. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. They, that, like they, they kept mentioning it. Sheldon will say it's like Leonard, all of them. It's like, they say when you get to like 40 years plus, you should be doing something like that yeah. like frequently. So because uh, maybe one of the sessions we'll talk about colon cancer yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's also something that's worrying. So with patients who are more than 50 years, people who have family history of uh, colon cancer, mm-hmm. we do the colonoscopy to rule out the colon cancer okay so that's one thing then one thing that we also do is called the anoscopy so an, the an, anus yeah so anoscopy okay so with the anoscope is like a camera it's a device we will check the uh, the integrity of your rectum and mm. also your inner region mm. that's one thing then you have the proctosigmoidoscopy for the proctosigmoidoscopy uh, <laughs> so that one is a combination so you will check from the rectum to the sigmoid that's like some part of the large intestines mm. so we check all those areas to see that yes this actually hemorrhage that you're having mm. then if that's the case we look at is it an external hemorrhoid mm-hmm. is it an internal hemorrhoid if it's any of these what's the degree if it's an internal hemorrhoid mm. if it's internal are we going to observe are you going to look at surgery mm. or you're going to do watchful waiting mm. mostly there are medications that people use so you see people buying stuff like uh, i don't want to mention brands yeah, here. Cook, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so, yeah we have if you if, 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 if you go to the pharmacies there are medications that help but these medications they do not cure the hemorrhoids okay. they relieve the symptoms mm. so that you will be okay so if you're having, let's say, a bleeding pulse, the medication you take, that will stop the bleed, mm. but it won't deal with the underlying issue. Okay. One of the best things that we always advise people, if you have an, if you have a prolapsed hemorrhoid, which is internal, we advise you to see your surgeon. Mm-hmm. Then they'll do what is called the hemorrhoidectomy. That's the procedure to cut mm. those hemorrhoids. Mm. If it's not that invasive, your doctor might also suggest you you take another procedure, which is the we have a band ligation, so they will like tie the hemorrhoids to prevent blood flow to that area, so that with time it shrinks 
on its own. Mm. So we have other procedures, but most most of the time we go by the surgical approach. Mm. But the other medical approach that we use, that one mostly reduces the symptoms and also the inflammations and all those stuff. Mm. So that's a bit about the okay. hemorrhoids here. So the sitting of the, on the toilet thing, and then it'll be about because someone also said, oh, because of the scent and things going inside oh, you, no, 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 it will make you get some. Mm-hmm. Oh no! So that one no the matter. No. It's just your position on like sitting down like that, exerting pressure on your yeah. your your hem- uh, why the, the hemorrhoidal veins. Hemorrhoid. So right. your abdominal walls, you are putting pressure because okay. you are straining. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So how do we you know make sure say we are living our life in order not to trigger our hemorrhoid? <laughs> yes, yeah, squat. Okay, so squats are apart. So they are part of the str- the strenuous yes, exercise. Oh, okay. So deadlift, squat, crunches. You don't use what So crunches. So that's why if you are going to train, you should get an expert who show you how to do it very well. Okay. So that you avoid some of these things. You mm. just you, you don't just do things anyhow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So with what you said, mm-hmm. looking at the whole thing, mm-hmm. there are certain lifestyle modifications that you have to do okay so every individual you have to hydrate more okay so if you're an adult male we advise that in a day you take like 3.5 liters of water Mm. if you're a female you take like 2.5 liters of water a day and you make sure you include uh, foods that are high in fiber okay so like wheat uh, carrots if you are taking vegetables so whole grains Mm. so all this foods they have high fiber content if it's fruit you can go in for oranges Orange, yeah. because of the roughages that are there they help absorb water then also make sure that your stool or your bowel movement is eased mm. then also you also avoid exercises that are strenuous mm. so you do it to your limit you don't overdo things overdo them, yeah. yes then if you are also someone who has central obesity Mm. You have to start working on it. No, the audio, audio, nibi, nibi. Yeah, sure. No, oh, You have people who have prominent. Ah, uh, but yeah. we exactly. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So if you are someone like that, you have to also check your weight. Mm. And with pregnant women, we always advise them to observe if they are seeing uh, the development of hemorrhoids, so that you let your doctors know. Okay. But to conclude everything, mm-hmm. we always advise that we. Do not spend much time at the washroom. Mm. That one. Is so bath no day inside. Oh no, bath no day. Yeah, inside. Cause more boys go take past top no go bath. Oh no 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 no. More the boys day. Oh. I know I know the boys in the yeah, washroom. Yeah, yeah. I'm a casting don't go mm. to the washroom. No carry, carry and count. Yes, the WCP. Yeah. yeah. So so that's so that's that's a little bit about yeah okay. hemorrhoids yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, bro, let me read some of the comments to you know, with it because um, someone said, "As long as I have my phone with me, we will die for day." This one said, "Uh, honey, a fat gene." Then this one said, "Um, okay, let me let me read." Some. He said, "Aside that crowd, someone Akunda can come out inside, catch your dum dum, <laughs> continue sitting on it for longer period." Yes, he goes on and on. So like people are just making and the TV. They say, oh, how boys will get innovative uh, innovative ideas. Sorry. Yeah. So like that is where like I, I just found out yesterday that people do a lot of things in like the uh, toilet room. A lot. Hey. A lot. How bro? How? I want to be question more also. You how much you share all see now? It's crazy. Like I was going through the comment, I was like, ah, now you people cry. This one said. So can I get that whenever it t- it's 10 minutes and sit down again because that is where I watch my TikTok. <laughs> yes, so... <laughs> no, you can't... You have to ask what <laughs> So 10 minutes in this one, but sorry. No, I was... I don't have to ask that. No, so, oh, sorry. Yeah, time, time interval on this one. So... What if, what if I stand there for, like, let's say, three minutes? So you stand three minutes there. You said, are they doing your... Oh, so oh, no, so I share TikTok. TikTok, so it depends. Uh, no, uh, so it's not advisable. It's not, it's not advisable. It's not advisable. Okay, so this like forget any therapy session. Sitting on WC really they hit different. As a place at the complete a whole Netflix episode. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we enter our room before put time. Now me young with teams. That's what people are saying. So you don't forget to sit for only nine minutes, fifty nine seconds. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, these people are crazy. There's, 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 there's one thing that yeah. I want to drop people out. If yeah. you're someone who has hemorrhoids, mm-hmm. mostly with the external one, most of the things they'll present is itchiness. They feel itchy in the anus, then they feel pain. Okay. So if you are feeling itchiness, there's one thing that you do. We have what is called sit bath. 
Okay. So we have uh, some uh, container. It's like uh, the chamber pot, mm. but it's a modified one. So we put warm water there. Then this uh, adan salt. Yeah, the gra gra one, yeah, the big, or, big one. Or Epsom salt. You mm. put it there, then you wash your anus with it. It reduces the itchiness and also make sure that you are kept clean. Okay. Because if you're having a, a bleeding power and you are not careful, it will be infected. Okay. And if it's yeah. infected, you are going to... Another go problem. You might get serious infections, yeah. which might also affect you. Mm. And also, if you are bleeding from there, kindly see your doctor. A doctor, yeah. Because as you are bleeding, you are you're also losing blood. Blood. So one thing we don't want to happen, we don't, we don't want anyone to suffer from is anemia. Mm. Because if you are losing blood, your HB will be dropping, then yeah. you'll be having anemia. That's another problem. Mm. Then you have to go and find blood, come and transfuse you and all those stuff. Yeah. So that's one thing that we have to also be careful. Okay. With, with people who are having pulse. Mm. And if you know that yours is... Uh, something that has been with you for a long time, mm. kindly see your doctor okay. and let them uh, give you the options so that you take a good option that will actually help you. Because most people begin to do a lot of things. Mm. They'll hear, oh, we see, we hear, Juma. We, then sometimes you see them buying stuff. You I tell them you that. This you, 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 you tell them that these things will not work. Mm -hmm. With yours, you, you need the surgery. With yours, you need this, but... They don't want to listen. And they'll be wasting money. Mm. And they'll be bleeding too. Mm. Imagine a man bleeding his life. kill? Bleeding. Oh, unless it becomes thrombosis, but with hemorrhoids, you won't see people dying out of hemorrhoids. Okay. Yeah, unless maybe a fourth degree hemorrhoid, which wasn't managed well with infections, then you get maybe sepsis. But that one, it will, it will really happen. Okay. Yeah, okay. but it's very uncomfortable. But still, you foresee your doctor. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very uncomfortable. Okay. Imagine this. Imagine sitting down, then you have some bulginess. Yeah, in your anus. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Then sometimes you'll be feeling pain. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is the education for you. Um, it is not just about the surface value. Sometimes you need to understand what goes into some of these things so that you go protect yourself. So, bro, the 10 minutes, we are not saying, say, um, it be a just don't go and sit there because the scent will enter your nose it has health implications and as um doc said what if you abide by it you for you know go through all these things to make sure that you stay healthy out there because once again when it reaches some stage it be critical and you don't want to be there so um ladies and gentlemen advance the conversation in the comment section uh let us extend the conversation but doc as you see the videos you the child going like that for your page and says yeah, plug really them mean. let the boys know uh, more info me where that where this came from, there is more. So, so if you want more of these health content, mm -hmm. so I run a health content platform specifically for health, mm. and the platform is connect with Dr. Greg. Mm. The connect is key. K yeah. okay yeah K O K K O only one N okay with Dr. Greg on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, mm. YouTube. So you follow me there, you get much of this content. I've seen that my boss have been reposting most of the videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the people, they need game. Yeah, no be every day where they can't laugh people and sometimes we'll put some knowledge for there. So edu education small, then we full small and things. Because this particular one, they all through, I was reading a currency. E. Meanwhile, I read the article and I knew why, like, you know people don't click on links, oh, right? True. They see the headlines and they run with it. So I was like, nah, bro, we for put them on game. So guys, the nine minutes, 35 seconds will go work. <laughs> Even 9.99 no go work. No, they do them. Um. No, they do them. Um. Just take care of yourself. I'm sure if you eat food where you be heavy in fiber and things, you wouldn't have to spend more time doing mm, on the toilet and things. It go feel be like two, five minutes you are done. Don't, how you go sit the visit of the watch episodes of Netflix? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your palm. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>